What's up guys? So today I have One UI 6 downloaded on my S23 Ultra and I am here to show you guys all the new stuff that comes with this new software. So let's get started. What's up guys? So today I have One UI 6 downloaded on my S23 Ultra and I am here to show you guys all the new stuff that comes with this new software. So let's get started. Okay, so the first obvious visual change that you're going to notice right off hand is this new redesigned notification center or panel and the quick settings. They got a huge redesign this year, which makes them look really good. And as you can see, it has a completely new layout and you can customize it to however you want it to be. You can add it the full and just the top. And they also added a new quick setting instant access which like it's just like iPhone, you just swipe from the one corner and you just instantly go into the control panel, I guess you could say, or quick settings. So it's just a really easy way instead of having to, you know, swipe twice to get it and then swipe twice to get it up, you can just go like that and then swipe up and it's gone. So as for customization for this, like I said, you can customize both. You can add whichever ones you want, take away like whatever ones you want. You can move them to whatever, like, you know, you want it to be and you get some more like yeah don't show you can show show always like brightness control which I want and so you can see there you can control the brightness just from that and then it would be right down here and it's actually like I think it's really nice how it's like sat in categories so you have like stuff with screens so I covered shield and dark mode is right there and you have um Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in the same spot and you get this nice little like fluid animation like how it kind of bubbles up It's like a lot better than just how it used to be like it would just go to the next screen Like there's actually like really nice animations Same with when you go to like do brightness extra brightness on or off Turn on adaptive brightness You get smart view device controls at the bottom. So like smart home kind of a thing So you have a lot of nice new features with the control center you can customize it a lot more and the same kind of goes for the home screen we have some new widgets obviously I've kind of just started customizing it so it's not completely finished to the way I want it but so we have a new camera widget which can show your most recent photo and it's too big to fit there and we also have um, what else do we get we got a new redesigned Samsung health widget um, let me find the app real quick Okay, so I have to download it, so, and there we go, so it's now installing, so we're gonna go over and I'll just open it real quick. Okay, and, oh, hold on. Okay, as you can see, we got a new redesigned Samsung Health, uh, once it loads. So as you can see, we got a completely new like redesign. It looks more like the new um, One UI like text. It has like a different animate or like animated things. Um, see if together it looks the same. Yep, the together looks the same. My page mm, looks a little pretty similar. But yeah, so we got a new redesign for the Samsung Health, which I think it looks really good. It was definitely needed. And also settings were changed a little bit, like some icons got some different colors, some things got moved around to like different categories to better, like stuff goes together better now, and moods and routines. Um, as of now, the moods are the same. You can do a little bit more stuff with it. And then as for routines, same thing, pretty similar. Um, but I'm assuming this is not going to be the way it's going to look when the official releases. Like, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of new features. Um, another one is a security and privacy got a redesign. Um, app security. App protection. Yes, it'll tell you, um, like, stuff that needs to happen. Biometrics, auto blocker. Uh, more security settings, so I'll, it just got a, like a really nice upgrade. And also another, uh, there's a lot more changes than what I'm going over, but these are like the biggest like things that I found. Um, device care, 
the emoji kind of changed a little bit. If you hit optimize, you can hit done. And I noticed that battery life is a lot better on One UI 6 than on One UI 4. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And this is still the beta. So as you can see, the the battery got a redesign, like the battery, I don't know, percentages and stuff. And also like this got a redesign. So like you can now show less, show more, and it goes by like what has like, um, oh, that changed during the recent beta, but like, Usually it was um, like from most to last, and it, it's kind of still is the same. Um, and then you have like more options like compressed files, zero gigabytes, and um, and trash. You get like all these options. Um, I do kind of wish there was like just a empty trash, but there's just a home screen. So unfortunately, there's no there. Then like duplicate files, unused apps, large files, like bigger. Than 50, wait, uh, bigger than 25 megabytes. So yeah, you just got a lot more stuff broken down into like air, like a certain area, so it, like it looks a lot better. And another thing is this new text that is you know seen all over like the operating system, like it's in settings, and it's in the photo app. Let's go for a picture of the iPhone 15. It's in the photo app, as you can see, you got a new like you know font all throughout the whole operating system. And in messages, as you can see, um, you got the same font. And the message app looks like a lot like better. And I'm assuming they're probably gonna make changes to it. The keyboard looks a lot better. Haptics are really great. Um, a new thing that they added is stickers. So let's say, let me go find, actually yeah, let's just use this picture of an, um, the iPhone 15 Pro. I'll make it into a sticker. And you can also like drag and drop and then bring it here and just kind of drop it. It'll load it into an image and boom. Now to do a pretty poor job since like it can't really tell where the iPhone was. So let's take a picture of the moon, for example. Okay, and you also have this new option to save a sticker. So if you hit that, you can go into messages, go to emoji, and then it'll be right here as a sticker. And that's really fun. So you can like add stickers to your chat, but unfortunately it's not really like Apple's approach to this where you can take it, hold it, and then drag it out and then place it on it. So maybe in the near future that'll happen, but as of now, it's not quite there yet. But definitely some great improvements makes the chat a lot more fun. So you can like add stickers and stuff and you can like customize it. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, you got some slight changes in messages and just a new font all over. Another redesigned app, one of many. Um, is weather. So as you can see, the weather app got like a completely new redesign. It tells you a lot more information. It looks a lot more polished. And I do enjoy how like it doesn't like go to white as you scroll down, it just gets a little bit whiter or lighter. Um, so that's really nice and tells you like mid mildly, uh, mainly sunny, highs in the lows of 80s and lows in the low 60s. So it's pretty nice. It gives you like a glance at the weather forecast. It's actually gonna get really cold on Sunday, a high of 47, and today it, it was 50, 83, or is, and yesterday it was 85. So yeah, we're gonna get some pretty bad weather, but, um, so that's really nice that it just tells you, like, everything, like, super broke down, really nice, and the next thing I want to talk about is the photo app. It got another redesign. Okay, so as you can see, um, there's no, like, all these buttons were read or changed, so, like, there's not the three dots at the bottom, so you can remaster, you swipe up, you hit the option, or you can see the option to remaster, object eraser, and you, that's changed from, was it loading before? I forgot what it was before, but as you can see, it does, like, a super good job, you can pick, like, different aspects to see your photo, to see how it changed it, and it's just, like, instant, like, once you, um, apply it, and also, when you go to edit stuff, um, this is a completely, like, new design. As you can see, it looks more like an Android, you know, um, operating system. So you got object, eraser, lasso, spot color, color mix style, and then you can do emojis, um, stickers, and text there, and draw on it, and the light balance, and just stuff, and the different filters you can put on it. Um, I'm not sure if there's any new filters. You kind of have to look at it when it releases. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, this is just like a really short, like, summary of everything that's changed. 
And so yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can revert to original, copy to clipboard, says wallpaper, move secure file, and print. You'd have to connect it to a printer. Um, so yeah, that's everything that's new. As you can see, like the messages are kind of separated, which actually makes it look a lot neater. Um, yeah, camera also got a upgrade, as you can see. Um, yeah. um, as you can see, like all of this has changed. Motion photo looks a lot different. You can actually kind of tell what it is. You can change the like megapixel take of it, and it actually like forces it to take it in that like megapixel, which I think is really nice. Video, you get the option to choose to 8K and then 8K30. Um, uh, UDC, which I think is raw ultra high you know, definition, or I would say resolution, but I think, I don't know what well, exactly that stands for. You can choose between 30 and 60. Um, oh, maybe you can't, 60. Okay, there we go. And then FHD, 60 or 30, and then HD. So yeah, that's really nice. And not too much has changed. As you can see, the auto tracking has moved to, um, let's see, I can really move, it won't move, you know. Um, but I can show you guys a sample video on screen of what auto tracking looks like. It was introduced on the Galaxy Z Flip 5, but now you can see it on the Galaxy S23 Ultra running One UI 6. So that's something new that's gonna be coming to it so I can show you guys a sample of what that looks like. Okay, so like my biggest thing with um, editing my videos is I can't find a dedicated like app that actually works really well. I've been using CapCut, which is great, but it's just not as good as I want it to be. But Samsung released their own app called Studio. And honestly, it's like one of the most professional like things I've ever used. So let me see, I can search videos. Um, I don't have all my videos on here, so let's use this of the iPhone. Yeah, let's do the iPhone 15 in the Apple Store. Um, as you can see, you can add text, you can um, add stickers, you can add like a watermark, Samsung Galaxy. You can add your own music. You can. Um, okay, you can add your own music. You can add more stuff. Um, yeah, that's for soundtracks. So yeah, it's like really nice and you can actually like edit 8K stuff, which in Samsung's like previous um, editor you couldn't do. Um, you were just stuck to 4K and like it would say like if the file is too large or it's corrupt or something, which it wasn't. So that's really nice that we have like a devoted app for that. So yeah, that is basically everything that is new on One UI 6. So yeah, um, let me know your thoughts about One UI 6 down in the comments and I'll catch you in my next one. See you then.